Hey there YouTube, what's the crack? Hope you're all well. No videos for me in uh, a couple of weeks. I've been kind of busy. Um, did a few jobs that needed to be done around the place. So we're uh, around here in the old Met Shack and uh, we had a bit of a problem out here with the wiring. So we uh, we had to sort that out. So basically what happened was I used to have the, the consumer unit used to be there on the wall where that is where that mark is and uh, what happened was um, on the far side of this wall there is another shed but it only comes to about there so when the rain used to fall a certain way the water used to wick in through the wall you can see the the marks of it there and uh, what ended up happening was um, it used to get occasions where the earth leakage circuit breaker a trip in the house and uh, I wasn't sure as to what was causing it so long story short I went investigating and I pulled the the cover off the consumer unit in the house and um, the so-called electrician that I got to wire the shed into the panel in the house when uh, it was being done because I was busy at the time doing something else myself was working or something and he wired it into the ELCV um, so what happened was anyway this corner was getting a bit damp and there was a junction box kind of up there as well and all the sockets connected into it and uh, when I pulled everything out all the uh, wires were green so it was getting damp and that's what was tripping the ELCV so you can see where the shorter cable comes in there that's the feed from the house so that's a waterproof IP56 box and uh, it's connected in there and I had to extend all the wires around and across and I moved the consumer unit over to this side so you have uh, these are 63 amp main fuse and then you have two breakers uh, 20 amp for the sockets 10 amp for the lights into another IP56 box uh, there's two smaller waterproof junction boxes inside that and had to bring out all the grey cables there the, the feeds for the sockets and of course I, could, I couldn't get a gland big enough that all of those would go through so that's all siliconed on the inside of the box everything else is glanded and uh, had to rewire the whole lot so I have two little neon indicators there for the lights and the sockets and uh, another little neon indicator up there just the lights that's where the lights kind of terminate and that's a waterproof box so I just left that there it saved me having to move more cables but it was the sockets that were causing the problem and not the lights so uh, it's all sorted now and uh, it was a bit of a pain in the backside to do now, I have to say. So the place is kind of uh, tidy. I spent a bit of time tidying it up. And moved the bikes around the other way. And covered down the ones that aren't used that regular. Because I'd be doing uh, spraying and all sorts of stuff out here from time to time. So don't want to get any overspray on them. And uh, pulled over it now with the place. And give it a damn good tidy. Because it was destroyed with sawdust after doing the... Uh, all the work I done out here for the shack refit so uh, <clears throat> I started going through a lot of these crates that I have here and uh, throwing out the stuff that's uh, junk and keeping the stuff that I want to keep so I still have to go through some more of them I have to go through all those as well I've uh, all sorts of junk in here I'm a, I'm a hoarder I keep everything all you know different types of cables in there and transformers wall warts in there so you never know when you uh, want to, to have one for something something simple little things like a sorted wire I keep all that when I strip something down so uh, still a bit more tidying to do but we'll get there it's a lot neater than it was so uh, there we go, so 
we'll get a few videos on the go soon uh, with some projects coming up here for myself that I want to do and uh, no doubt you'll see what I'm getting up to when I post them so hope you're all keeping well so to let you know I'm still alive and we'll get you again very soon and uh, take care thanks for watching this is George EI7 Kilo Oscar bye bye